All right. So <clears throat> can you guys see my screen now? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. So let's start now with the uh, consultation meeting. So let's start with um, week four, module three. Anyone who has a question or a clarification under this uh, module? The seat bricks, the case studies, with the module itself, or with the uh, pre meet video? Anything? If none, uh, let's give a quick thumbs up. So let me know that uh, you don't have a question under this module. Or sir, madam. Okay, but what is your question? Uh, On the module three. What? Um, yung about sa recursive tsaka explicit. Mm -hmm. Paano i-identify if um, siya recursive or explicit? Okay, let's read the uh, definition of this too, okay? Recursive and... Alright, so here's the definition of recursive. So, it is a formula that refers to previous terms to define the next term must have the starting numbers. That's the uh, very definition of recursive. And going to explicit, so it is a formula that provides a value of a term using only its position. So basically, in here, you have to know the previous term before you'll be able to know uh, what is the uh, next term or what is the value of the next term. Okay? And then in here, you must also have a starting number. Unlike in explicit, Okay, uh, as long as you know the position and that the uh, correct formula, like for example, this one, and squared, you already know that ah, this one is the uh, value of the third term. Ah, this one is the value of the fourth term and so on and so forth. Okay, so in here, you have to know the uh, previous one, let's see, uh, the first one, starting one, and then the previous one before you can get the next one. So for example, you want to get the uh, fourth term, which is uh, equal to 18. So you have to know the third term first before you can get the fourth term. Unlike in explicit, you can already get the fourth term by uh, putting here the formula, I mean the uh, value in our formula. Let's say 4 squared is equal to 16. And you don't need starting point at this point. Okay? As long as you have this formula, then that's already an explicit. So those are the differences. Both of them are sequences, but uh, recursive needs a starting point and then uh, the previous term before you can get the next term. So are we here? Were you get were you able to get this one? But sir, pwedeng, ano, pwedeng it transform yung recursive into explicit formula. Uh, pwede naman. Pero explicit na lang siya. And uh, at the same time, uh, mostly an explicit uh, formula could be uh, a recursive formula. But a recursive formula, uh, in most cases, it cannot be an explicit uh, formula. Okay, so let, we could say that uh, explicit is the uh, highest point. Yung parang pinaka a simplified version. Okay, unlike in recursive, uh, you know, it's using this uh, previous term. But yeah, sure, you can, of course, convert that one into uh, explicit. Okay. Though, hindi, hindi nga lang ganun yung ways ko. Okay. But that, that still depends on if we can uh, convert that one into explicit. But mostly, uh, as long as you have the sequence, then uh, you'll be able to find the uh, explicit or recursive formula. Yung ano kasi, sir, pagkakaintindi ko dun sa dalawa. Yung recursive. My same ratio siya. Yung explicit wala. Tama po ba? If you're going to put it that way, what do you mean ratio? Like yung the... common ratio, yung 3 and 8. Common ratio nilang dalawa. 5. And then 5 again. And then 5. But here, it's Ah, it's incrementing. Pwede naman siguro, but that still depends on the sequence. Kasi meron din namang mga 
uh, for example, this one, if you can find a formula, if you can come up with a formula which is, you know, an explicit formula, then uh, explicit formula na siya, kahit na may ratio pa tong uh, 3, 18, 13, or it's incrementing by 5. Okay. So, uh, maybe that's one, but uh, that is not the uh, exact uh, or mean difference of those two. So in here, uh, ito na lang siguro yung masasuggest ko. If uh, you're using a previous term of the you know, certain uh, formula, then that's uh, recursive for sure. Okay. And in here, you will see that uh, it's not using uh, the previous term. Then uh, you already know that this one is an explicit formula. So yun na lang siguro yung pinaka-main defense para sa akin. And yeah, one more thing. Uh, ito, may previous term nga siya sa starting and like in here, even though you don't have a starting number, you can uh, find the fixed term for whatever term is like. So I think in my examples, but I did all right. So I'm subscribing for me that. This one is times two times two times two times two. Because in some cases, uh, you can come up with two formulas in one sequence. So, yun. I think, kasama yun sa activities nyo, hindi, hindi, hindi ko madedefine na uh, sa ratio lang siya makikita. Okay. So, minsan, uh, you can come up with two formulas okay, in that uh, one sequence. Receive. Ang ganda lang example sa Anyway, so if you need more uh, example, probably uh, I can just check uh, on the internet. I don't know if I put here some uh, quizzes regarding with the explicit and recursive. So I don't know if uh, they have those uh, topics. But if you need more, then the best thing is uh, to find this on the YouTube on what is the differences. Okay, so with that, you'll be able to know, ah, this one is explicit, ah, this one is recursive. Ah, uh, that is your uh, problem. Okay, so in here, you already see that this one is recursive since it's using the uh, previous term. And in here, it's not using the previous term, it's just a formula that that's already explicit. So I hope was able to enlighten you. I hope I was able to answer your question. So, yun na lang. I think uh, just uh, practice more than familiarize uh, whether that one is explicit or recursive. Okay? Ito sir, last. Ano? Yung sa module 4 naman. Relation. Relation. So, what's like? Sa ano? Sa rep, yung properties of relationship. Properties of, ah, uh, anong specific slide yun? 12 po. Right. So, properties of relation. Okay, so yung what? dito sa, sa reflexive, kailangan, kunyari, yung ano, yung set is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, yung reflexive niya, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, tsaka 4, 4. Kailangan lahat ng, ano, lahat ng element may, ano, relation, yes. sir. For every sa, x. Sa symmetric naman po, tas transitive, tapos anti-symmetric, kailangan bang, ano, lahat? Or kahit mga ilan lang po? Yeah, uh, for example, you have, uh, let's say, 1, 2, 5. Okay? It's so maganda pag may note. Uh, one, one, one. One second. So, for example, we have this uh, relation or set. So for example, we have 1, 2, 2, 1, and then 1, 3. Okay? So, uh, let me ask you first, is this symmetric or no? Symmetric. No, it's not symmetric because 3, 1 doesn't have 
uh, apart uh, this three one. So, dapat uh, pag may nakita kang one three, dapat hanapan mo siya ng three one. With that, uh, they are already symmetric. So this one is very symmetrical. This one is very symmetrical. So if it's just like this, then this one, this one is anti-symmetric. Okay. Kapag may merong isa kahit gano pa kadami yan, let's say uh, uh, lahat sila may partner, but there is one uh, relation here that doesn't have a you know uh, three one, so that is not symmetrical. Right? Okay. Then and then was a transitive term. Sa transitive, uh, one, two, two, one, two, two. Yeah. So, uh, depende rin yun eh. Parang kapag may uh, hindi, kanyara, may merong isang relation na hindi kasama or hindi, yeah, hindi siya kasama sa uh, pagiging transitive, then hindi na siya transitive. For example, this one. Uh, one, two, two, one. So, dapat, May tutu ka, di ba? Ito muna tayo. So, ito. Uh, this is uh, symmetric, right? Apa. But this one is not uh, transitive. Tama? Yes. Kasi, para gawin mo siyang transitive, you must have a tutu. Tama? Apa. Transitive na to. Now, if I will add one more, let's say uh, one five. One, two, two, one. Here. So we have two one and one five, but we don't have one one. So this one is not transitive anymore. So kapag nakahanap ka ng, ito na lang siguro, uh, three five, yan. This one is still uh, transitive. Wait, let me check. Is it? Does it play to all? Hanap tayo ng example. Because this one is transitive, but there is one relation. So let's see. Yeah. <clears throat> it should be all relations. Symmetric, transitive. Okay, one, one. Okay. but it doesn't have a BB, so it's not transitive. Example. But in here, this one is not uh, transitive since we have uh, BC and CB and then uh, there is no CC. So that is why this one is not transitive anymore. And this one is transitive because uh, whatever partner you will find here, let's say 1, 1, and 1, 2, you have 1, 1. Uh, 1, 1, and 1, 3, you have uh, still 1, 1. Okay, so parang lahat, hanap nga ako ng isa kung meron. I think wala eh. Everything has a partner. 3, 3, 4, yeah. 2, 4, 2, 4. No other example anymore. Okay. So this one is transitive, but there is one relation. So hindi ko na masyado maalala kung uh, how did I explain that one on the uh, compiled uh, Zoom meeting. So anyone who remembers, what if uh, this is the uh, relation that is given? Is this transitive or not? Regarding with the uh, pre-made video. Yes. Walang nakakalala. Anyone? So, Andrew. So, one or the three is already. We don't need to check. So, from the reference, one, two... Two, three, one, three. What is that? So that one is not also. Ah, wait, wait. Maliyata yung formula ko nga. It should be. 
the x and y. So, dapat 1, 3. Not 2, 2. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, my apologies on that one. So, uh, this one, uh, if you guys can see the uh, chat of uh, Mr. Daddy. So this one is the correct one. So, it should be the x, z, not the uh, y, y. Okay, my bad. So, in here, we have 1, 2. And dapat ito is 1, 1. Okay, so let me just correct this one. So, this is the transitive form of our uh, example. So, dapat uh, ganito siya. Okay. Now, what if we have something like this? Can you recall, uh, Mr. Derek? Is this transitive or no? Or I think uh, if you have this uh, formula, if you can find something like this on the uh, given relation, then that one must have an x, z also. Thus, we can only say that this one is transitive. Okay, I think I just remember that uh, it should be something like this. But if there is no, there is no uh, x, y, and uh, y, z, okay, then uh, uh, I think kapag wala, wala kayo nahanap na transitive ni isa, then that one is not transitive. Okay. But if there is at least one that is uh, transitive, something like this, but there is one relation that is not part of it, this one is still transitive. Mr. Derek, am I correct? Did I explain that one here on my uh, premium video? Kung sino yung nakakaalala? Or Mr. Chandru, Tester, Rexor, what are your inputs regarding with this one? Okay. So we have this one as the transitive uh, form, but there is one relation which is not part of that, uh, you know, transitive uh, relation. Can we see that this one is uh, a transitive relation or no? So let's say we have one, two, three elements. So all the time we can say that it's complex and we have one, one, two, and three, two. But if there is a uh, one uh, element that doesn't have this x, z, then uh, that is not positive. Anyway, so we're just going, uh, we're going to have, for example, for this one, we're going to have this uh, at So why does it take two handles? And we can see that this relation is uh, that is why uh, if it's a uh, reflexive order kit, All right, so no more example regarding the transitive. should also have avoided the X. Okay, let me take a look on this one. Okay, 
All right. So this one's not classic. All right. Okay. So as long as you can find one or two there, uh, where you must be able to uh, apply classic rule, and this one's not classic. So, are we clear so yeah. far? I think uh, if you can find one, okay. Though I just don't have an example uh, in our PowerPoint, but if you can find one, like for example, this one, 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 a uh, one, two, and then two, one, that's a transitive relation. That's already uh, considered as a transitive uh, uh, relation overall. Okay. So, yeah, let's just finalize uh, uh, this one into uh, that. Okay, and uh, if there is no uh, x, y, and y, z, then, and specifically, uh, there is no x, z, then, of course, that one is not transitive. Okay, but if you can uh, find at least one relationship, okay, uh, this one, x, y, y, z, and then uh, x, z, then that is already a transitive advantage. Okay, so, yeah, ganun na lang. So was I able to answer your question or uh you know yung mga what do you call that one haka haka or uh confusions okay yes po so sa transitive lang yung ano sir kahit isa lang kahit isa na lang okay and then uh let me know for example uh sir you know what pinalo ko naman yung uh, sinabi mo na kahit isa lang that's very really transitive so let me know if you uh, have a question regarding with that specific list and then uh, I will check so I will uh, try to check uh, uh, everything if it's really the case okay, with uh, what I have uh, discussed before since hindi ko yata napaliwanag dito kung ganun yung case we only have two where in this one has transitive relation and the other ones doesn't you know completely doesn't have a uh, Transitive relation. Anyway, so any other concerns aside from uh, transitive? Yung sa ano pa pala, sir? Sa partial order. Partial order. Type 24. Jan, sir, jan, jan. Order relation. Total order? Apo. Paano may identify if ano siya? Diba ito yung ano sir? Symmetric to diba yung comparable? X, Y, or Y. Yeah. Oops, wait. X is less than or equal to Y or Y is less than or equal to X. Let's try it right here. So, uh, in order for you to say that it's a partial order, so it should be reflexive and disymmetric and then transitive. And we have here x y and y x. Where did that came from? Napping ko lang yung formula ng symmetric. X y is no relation. If x and y is an element of x, then either x is less than or equal to y, or y is less than or equal to x, then x and y are comparable. Ah, I just remember. I think less than or equal. Like on y. Okay. 
every pair of elements in X is comparable, then R is a total R. I think this is just a condition we're in. Uh, okay, let's start with partial order first. Uh, in order for you to say that it's a partial order, so it should be reflexive, anti-symmetric, and then transitive. So you can uh, check that one one by one, right? It's reflexive, anti-symmetric, and then transitive. Am I correct? So this one is just an easy task. Yes. Okay. And then uh, I think there are some partial orders for in uh, uh you can check it uh in you know, with this uh formula if it's uh, x is less than or equal to y, or y is uh, less than or e, uh, equal to x, then uh, that one is e, uh, compatible. And if it's compatible, you could see that that is a total order. But if there is uh, one okay, that is not compatible, wherein you have this x is less than or equal to y, but uh, you know I cannot find that uh, or either of those, y or yeah, y is less than or equal to x. So if you cannot find this uh, formula or if you cannot suffice this formula, then that one is not a total order. Okay, so should be able to suffice this uh, formula. x is less than or equal to y or y is less than or equal to x. Okay, so it's already partial ordered, but uh, you're checking here whether it's a total order or not. So you have to check uh, you know, all the uh, elements of that uh, addition. Okay, this is x by y. So was I able to answer your question? So again, this is just another way of checking. So I just remember right now that uh, okay, that's already partial order, but let's check if it's a total order. So in here, if it wasn't uh, able to suffice uh, this formula, then that one is not comparable, thus it is not a um, uh, total order. Okay, but if it was able to suffice everything, you know, all the relations with this formula, then that one is comparable, thus it is now a total order. Okay, so any other question? Wala na po. What about the others? Module 4, module uh, 5. Well, of course, uh, you guys don't have any question under module 5 yet since uh, this one was just uh, published a while ago, so 11.3b. So just uh, check this one out later on. But just to give you guys a brief uh, idea, of course, you'll see here the topic during outcomes and then the list of topics that will be discussed on this uh, uh, module. So uh, most likely, uh, 20 slides for the database and its operators, and then the rest, you know, uh, we'll uh, discuss uh, different kinds of uh, function. Okay, we have the properties, how to uh, do vertical tests, how to write a function, uh, what is uh, the relation of uh, algebra in function, and then what is one-to-one -one function, what is onto rejection, identify inverse and so on and so forth, okay? So we only have one module for this one. And then uh, unfortunately, uh, I cannot find a database, uh, you know, similar with, uh, uh, in, with uh, what we have in my PDF right now or what we have in uh, the PDF of Dion. So this is not uh, my own PDF. So this one came from Sir Dion. So I cannot find a tutorial or a YouTube video that is explaining about database. So just uh, rely, okay, with my uh, pre-made video. So uh, I did explain everything in here. So I, I, I think you won't be having any problems. So this is a two hour and 24 minute video uh, explaining uh, about database, okay, and then how to use your uh, operators. So yeah, and if you have questions, so maybe you can find an article on the uh, internet, see if we can find one. So, see, uh, wala akong makita. Iba yung nagpapakita. But, let's see this one. Street mathematics via relational databases. Yeah, 
Okay, so it's a PDF, so it's a good thing that I did search on this one. So uh, this is an additional uh, PDF for the uh, reading materials. Okay, so just check this one out later on. So this one will discuss more or yeah, what is uh, a database uh, on this grid map. Okay, anyway, so let me just put this one. How many minutes do we have more? Four minutes. I think that's plenty. This one came from Academy. one at the top. So yeah, there you go. So this one now is a complete package for the uh, reading materials, but for the video materials, I cannot find the uh, database, okay, which uh, talks about with super similar with what we have in our module. Okay, module. Anyway, so just check this one out if you need more uh, information or uh, examples maybe when it comes to functions, okay? And what is a floor and seating? So that is the uh, last topic, a okay, floor and seating. And uh, also I cannot find this one, uh, hash functions. So uh, if you can find one, uh, please let me know so uh, I can add that one in our video materials. But yeah, those are uh, the only thing that uh, we are missing under this video materials. And same with the reading materials. So we don't have this uh, seeding and then floor and then this uh, hash function on this uh, reading material. Anyway, so that's it for the overview. And yeah, this is the PDF. This is the uh, watch videos, which is similar with what we have in the uh, video material. And then this is the premium video. And then this is the practice exercises and then these are the uh, seat breaks that you guys have to finish before or until before uh, February 20. Okay. And then one last case study. So you guys already know what to do with this one. So just check this one out later on. So all of them will be due on February 20. So yeah. Uh, we still have two meetings left before your uh, final exam. So uh, let's see. Okay. Yep. Uh, what is our next plan? But uh, for now, uh, that's pretty much it for you know, uh, in this course. So the coverage of your final exam will be, of course, starting from module three to module five, and your final exam will be on the right wing at exactly level three. So are we clear so far? Are you guys able to follow? Yes, all right so we don't have enough time anymore so yeah that's it for now and just stay tuned to my announcement if uh we're going to meet uh next week but tomorrow okay just stay uh we will not meet tomorrow so just use that time to finish everything okay and yeah uh just a reminder that the due date of this uh Week five uh, activities will be uh, until tomorrow only. So please finish them until tomorrow. So yeah, uh, that's all for today. Uh, happy Valentine's to all of you, those who have been sleeping on. So yeah, just be safe. Okay, ingat ingat kayo. So ma maaga pa, ma bata bata pa, huwag mo na kayong may ding mapusok. Yun advice ko. Anyway, so uh, happy Valentine's and happy 